What is up you guys? Today I'm going to answer one of my most frequently asked questions and that is why do my cards not sell for any money after I duplicate them? I do know the answer to this question and I'm going to try and do my best to explain this to you guys. Um, it might be a little complicated but I'm going to do my best. So what I've done is I duplicated a whole bunch of cars and I got a couple examples here. So over here I have an Arena Workshop car, my ISTE Classic. Over here I have a Benny's car, which is my LG Retro Custom. And over here I have some supercars, the X80 Proto. So all of these cars are valued at different prices and when you duplicate them they're all going to sell for a different range of prices. So for starters I'm going to show you guys the best car to duplicate and that is the ISSI Classic. I'm going to pull this into the workshop and show you how much this sells for. So if I scroll down to the sell button here, you can see that this will sell for 1.77 million and this is a duplicate. This is not an original, this is a duplicate. That is because I have everything the absolute most expensive on the car. I'm going to exit the workshop and show off my Benny's car. Now if I scroll down to the sell option here, I can sell this one for 982000 So just shy of a million. That's still pretty good for a duplicate. Again, this is not an original, this is a duplicate. Sweet. Okay, later. And now I'm going to show you an X80 that is duplicated right here. Now if I scroll down to the sell option on my X80, you can see I can't even get $200,000 out of selling this thing. Now why is that? This is almost a $3 million car and I got a ton of upgrades. Well the reason is because you actually don't get any money for the base price of the vehicle. You only get the money for the upgrades that are on the car. I spent almost $400,000 on the upgrades for this car, so when I go to sell it I get exactly half of what I spent back. Now the respray actually doesn't contribute to the selling price at all, so it wouldn't matter if I had chrome on this, it doesn't affect the selling price. So that's why this car isn't worth as much, and I'm gonna go and show you what my original sells for compared to this duplicate. So this is my original car, scroll down to the sell option. My original sells for 1,800,000, like that, that's a lot of money. And I know it'd be awesome if we could duplicate supercars and get that much every time, but again, you don't get any money for the base value of the car because the majority of glitches require us to duplicate a car over top of another car. And we always duplicate over free cars because you don't want to lose the car that you're duplicating over. So that's why cars aren't worth as much. Now, I'm going to show you another test that I did. I actually bought an X80 Proto and I did absolutely nothing to it. I didn't put any modifications on it whatsoever. Right here. Let's see how much this one sells for. This is absolutely no mods on it. Scroll down to the sell option. I can get 1.62 million out of it. Not bad. This is an original with no mods on it. Okay. Exit the workshop. Now I duplicated this car, which has no upgrades. And let's see how much my duplicate sells for. Literally zero dollars for this supercar that normally on the market costs 2.7 million. I can sell it for literally zero dollars. Now this just proves that when you duplicate a car, you don't get any money for the base value of the vehicle. You only get money for the upgrades. So. That brings me to my next point. What's the best vehicle to upgrade then, since supercars suck? Well, there's two different options for you. If you have an Arena Workshop, Arena War vehicles are the best. The Issy is the best of the bunch. Doesn't matter which one you do, they all sell for the same amount. I got one of each actually over here. I do each of them, yeah, I switch off, doesn't really matter. But those sell for 1.77 million when you duplicate them, which is insane. If you don't have an arena workshop and want to make a little bit of cash, you don't have a ton of money to spare, then get yourself an LG Retro Custom. 
When you duplicate these, these sell for just about a million dollars, which is still pretty good. And after you duplicate a bunch of them, you can get the money that you need to buy an arena workshop and then to buy some issues. So Benny's cars and arena cars are the best cars to duplicate. It would be nice if we could make millions and millions off of duplicating supercars. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. But what you can do is you can actually duplicate all of these cars, all your supercars if you have a garage full of 10 of them or whatever. You can duplicate each car one time and sell the original. So over here, I have my originals. And over here, I have my dupes. And what I can do is I can sell my originals for the full price. This one is $1.8 to sell. And then I can keep my duplicate and go put that in my supercar garage to show off to friends. And it still is the same car. Drives just as fast, looks the same. It's an X80. It just isn't worth any money. So I hope that helped explain this to you guys. Um, that's it for this video. Please leave a like if you found this helpful and share it to anyone else who, you know, has this question. So until the next one, I am Fishy Thrower and I will see you guys out.